Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well, this is M. Maliuma. In this series of videos I'm gonna show how imagination, singing, affect piano playing and help create your own interpretation of music. Emotional image is our own feelings about music we're playing. Well, usually we don't have any problems with feeling music, but the obstacles we have are on the way to convey our ideas through playing. We might feel much, but would be trapped inside because we couldn't express freely ourselves. So, if we're able to freely express our feelings, that tremendously helps to release unhealthy tension in mind and body while playing and convey and express our ideas so clearly that even a listener could feel all the emotionals, all the feelings uh, as much as we can feel ourselves. When students playing cannot really express clearly emotional image of music, Teachers would start to impose their own feelings and ideas on students playing, assuming that students cannot really feel music properly. They would say something like, be more passionate, play brighter, freely, don't be afraid. <laughs> um, imagine this, imagine that. They would even start um, educate students about composers' life to bring more meaning to their playing. Well, the last thing teachers know is that students don't have lack of feeling music, but they have lack of knowledge how to convey their feelings through playing. The secret bridge that connects our intentions and performance is usually our singing. How to internally sing and intonate watching this video. Uh, so let me show you again. I'm gonna sing the same interval with different emotional meaning and you will feel how my intentions will change the vibration of my voice. So that would be joy. And now sorrow, sadness. So I would intonate the distance between notes differently. Not only I would the sound would be different, but also like the way I I reach the second note would be different. So now now why would consider that if something changes our singing that would also affect our playing is because uh, this energy of singing between notes directly affect energy of our muscles. So we uh, sing differently, we breathe differently, we feel differently, we touch differently and we sound differently. Now let me show you again uh, how singing affects playing. Um, so while I'm playing I'm always internally singing and I'm singing with the same vibrations, with the same energy that I just sang out loud. So while going through this interval, for example, uh, in this energy of joy, this, this kind of vibrations affect directly the muscles in my finger. So this is how I would control my touch. So before even playing, I already know how I'm going to touch the way it would express my singing, my intentions. So, joy, kind of joy. Now, sorrow. So with joy, I would feel uh, more active energy within my palm and with sorrow um, I would feel more gentle energy and the touch would be different. So if I sing internally joy and sorrow and so
first of all, it simply feels so nice. Like I said before, it, you, you don't have any unhealthy tension. You don't feel like you're trapped, you cannot express yourself. You, it feels so nice because you freely express yourself. There is no obstacles between you and the piano. And second of all, it sounds nice. <laughs> so this is how you express through touching, through the sound, uh, through internal singing, all your intentions about your feelings, about the emotional image of the piece. Then, as usually, I will start playing with uh, emotional meaning, emotional image of this piece. I will play very slow, feeling the uh, energy of emotional image through vibrations of the distance um, between nose in this interval and you know of course we know the meaning of this piece it's beautiful we got it from the harmonies in the stage when we were listening to them uh, if I will play of my emotional image in the in these intervals. Basically this is absolutely like universe for me because I'm just imagining on everything that I feel through this music and I'm tuned into that and I'm expressing through every single interval and of course I'm imagining all the colors of all the notes that I have to imagine in my head and I'm following the phrasing but still trying to feel ex and express every vibration of this music through the playing and it could be as slow as this you know to do this. When I first discovered that, that I actually can express my emotions through this distance between notes, you know, <laughs> how to say, when we play our true, the true life of music exists between notes, in this distance between notes. And this is where you feel the vibrations of music. So that's why when I'm playing here, there's so much between this E flat and B flat going on. <laughs> so I think actually um, we could say that music doesn't exist in the sound, it exists between the sounds. <laughs> But usually when pianists play, we just think about, okay, sound, 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 but all the music, all the real life of music exists between notes. <laughs> so that's why if you really um, master, if you're really a master of this technique with intonation, with musical speech, with phrasing, with imagining sounds, uh, you are free to express everything you want while playing, you know, there is no limit because you're basically living uh, in these intervals, you're living between notes, not in the notes. <laughs> That's it, it's that simple and that was the last video of the series. Yes, I made it. <laughs> uh, so basically there was not every music coming of expression that I teach in my piano well system, but the main uh, the main musical mean of expressions. So I think that's really interesting because I think that the imagination and singing part uh, will 
make the whole difference in the teaching approach, in the practicing approach, and it's very uh, efficient when you use it. So uh, everyone in the future will teach this way. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and have a great week. Bye-bye.